everyone welcome back to my channel today I have a crafting haul or a Michaels haul um, for you guys it is not planner related but I did get a lot of crafting items which I'm super excited about and I got a lot of paint items which I'll share at the end um, I thought I'd share this just because I don't know I'm super into crafting right now and um, this is like my creative outlet but then again I've never really showed anything like this on my channel so I hope that you guys enjoy this um, we do have a few planner type related things like some washi and a, plan a teacher planner I don't know if like the teacher planner counts but I don't know so anyways I'm gonna stop rambling and we can just go ahead and get right on into it um, so I'm gonna start with the planner just because it's probably the biggest thing I mean I have the most paint stuff but let's just kind of transition into all of that so this is the recollections um, teacher planner and I went with the smaller one this is what it looks like I really wanted the bigger one um, I liked the cover a lot I just felt like it was too big so um, I went with this one these are normally um, $29.99 in the US however all of their spiral bound notebooks are $10 right now so um, at least they are as of Sunday the 16th no 17th 18th <laughs> so close so um i'm hoping to get this up maybe wednesday um we'll see hopefully that sale is still going on but my michaels had a ton of spiral bound planners so this was only ten dollars and i just went ahead and got it i was going to make my own teacher planner but um and bind it and everything like that but i don't know Anyways, this is what it looks like, and if you guys are curious, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick flip through. Um, so, it just basically looks like a regular Erin Condren or Recollections Planner. It's very colorful, which I like. Um, it's got a bunch of different tabs, so substitute, password tracker, birthdays, classroom, things like that, absence, graphs, absence, I'll flip, graphs and notes, um year plan and then it just goes into the months so july august you know this is the school year and then it goes all the way till june although our school ends in may so i won't need it and we don't do any type of training in june so um yeah and then you have a lesson plan so you can it's not dated or anything so you can do like week one and then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, I skipped Wednesday. <laughs> My brain's a little out of it, but Monday through Friday. Um, and then it has subject and period. I don't need subject or period, but um, you, know, you could get creative with that. You get quite a few pages of lesson planning. Um, you know, you have to cover the full year, so I'm sure it's got the full year in there. And then on this last page on the back, you have like this really cute notebook looking page and then you have your checklist here on the back so you could put the name and then whatever it is kind of handle that and then moving right along to the back you have some stickers just like I haven't picked up a regular recollections planner but I've seen videos um, so I think that the recollections have this but this is also just like the Erin Condren um, and then here we just have like assembly, duty, computer lab, library, stock meeting, and holiday and you get those in some really beautiful colors you get some plain ones and then you get your stickers so really really nice planner oh and you get a little pouch too that's nice yeah so really nice planner I'm really excited to start using it like I said, I was just going to make my own, but um, I really like it. I would like to change the cover, though. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, if you guys know how to do that, let me know. But it's not removable. So I don't know how I would, unless I punched a laminated one, put that on top, and then cut this off. I don't know. Maybe I'll look up some videos. Or if you guys know how to do that, let me know. But that is the Recollections Teacher's Planner. The next thing that I grabbed more planner related, this is the Recollections Washi Tape. I got kind of a strip like this um, a long time ago. It was in like a donkey or something like that. Oh look, this is cute. It's in like a little washi cutter thing. 
Um, and this, I believe, was on sale as well. Everything I got was on sale except for, oh, I bought a magazine. <laughs> I'm super obsessed with this one. This is called Bella Grace. Um, so expensive, but I don't know. I had to get it. That was the only thing that wasn't on sale or that I didn't get on a discount. Um, but I did pick up like a rhino or something like that. Oh, you can pull it through here. That's nice. How do I open it? Oh, there we go. Is that how you open it or did I just break it? You have to be able to open it, right? I mean, I couldn't imagine you having to stick your fingers through this tiny little slot. And then they move on you, but it's got some really beautiful pastel colors. I'm obsessed with the rhino colors and I'm almost out of them. Um, and I wasn't able to find those colors again. This was as close as I was able to get. So I thought it was nice to have some, just some solid, beautiful, thin washi tapes on me just because I use these more than I thought I ever would. So I picked that up. I would open it for you. I just don't know how. <laughs> I'm not going to spend the time to figure that out right now either. And then the next thing that I got here is I got a um, corner rounder. It says level punch, but the thing said corner rounder. So I hope that's what this ends up to be. Let's open it. Because if not, I'm probably going to return it. How do I open this in a nice manner? Let's cut it. Okay, so this is also from my collections. This was on sale. I think originally like 20 bucks on sale for, I have my receipt right here. Oh yeah, round corner. Um, Oh, this wasn't on sale. This was $8.99, but I got it for $7.64. I mean, you can go into Michaels and seriously get a lot of things on sale. You know, like you can go and they have so many di different coupons and whatnot. I'm trying to find a sheet of paper here. Okay, so this is like something I made for my nephew when he was a baby. Um, but let's just like, how do you, I mean, I'm assuming you take the corner. Oh yeah. Just like that. Oh, okay. It kind of worked, but let me see if I can do it better. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's really cute. I'm going to just do it to all sides because Oh, gotcha. Really got to stick it in there. Really nice. I love that. That looks really beautiful. So that's just the one that I got. Oh, my battery is dying. So I picked up that corner rounder. I'm really happy that I have that. Um, the next thing I thought or I picked up was just these really beautiful thank you notes. It's got silver foiling on them. They had a bunch like they have they had cursive gold and stuff like that. I just thought those were super nice. Um, I also picked up these. This is the Fimo Soft um, Clay. So this is the stuff that you bake. I'm going to make a lanyard out of this. So um, I kind of have a vision of what I wanted to want to do with it. So we'll see how it turns out. But um, yeah, like I said, this is just stuff that you bake in the oven. This one is in Sahara. Just a really beautiful light cream tan. And then this one is in the color Flesh Light. So it's just a really light baby pink. So I picked those up. Super nice. I'm really excited to play around with those. And then on to all of the paint stuff. So I really want to get into painting. So I picked up a bunch. I picked up this box here, which has every, I already put everything in it, but this was on sale and I'm just going to keep everything in that box and I'll just go through what's in that. That's actually also Recollections. I wonder if everything Recollections was on sale. I know you can get a bunch of coupons online for like all Recollection things off. 
Um, but anyways, so this is the acrylic paper tent sheets and I just picked up that before I got like canvases and stuff and it's just a really nice textured thick paper. Um, and yeah, like I said, I just want to get more into painting as my, not my creative outlet, I think planning's my creative outlet, but as a planning or as a creative outlet. Um, anyway, so this is the box. It is a nice deep box. They did have bigger ones, um, but I just picked this one up. The only thing I don't have in this box is my painting thing wheel. This was super cheap. I don't remember how much this was, but I just figured it'd be nice. And then I picked up a bunch of brushes and sponges. So the sponge, the brushes came in a pack. I don't know, super cheap. I didn't want to get anything too expensive or nice just because, you know, it's not a full-blown hobby yet. But I got a bunch of different sizes. Um, and then I got, it came with these plastic things. I know Nikki Plus 3 uses the metal version of this to rip up her stickers. Um, and I got some sponges and stuff like that. I mean, you guys can see what I got here. If you guys are into painting, leave comments and tips down below or... I don't know, just help me out. So this is just what I kind of picked up. I figured it'd be nice. My mom is a painter. I'm um, not like a professional painter. She paints houses or, well, that's not her job, but it's a hobby. So she, I don't know, she's really good at it. And then I picked up, okay, so while the phone was ringing, I just got an Amazon package and I think I might show that at the end of this haul as well. Um, just because I don't know it's exciting and I think you guys might like it or I might show it in my sticker haul but it's more like crafting so I'll show it in this one anyways um I also got this little miniature color wheel I do have a painting of the color wheel um but I just figured this would be nice to kind of keep and I like the way that this one works I don't know for a beginner it's really nice something I could have looked up on the internet but I was at Michael's and I got them and then the last thing that I got at Michael's was acrylic paint. So I was only going to get a couple colors, um, so I wasn't spending too much on paint. But then as I was walking away, it was cheaper to buy a 12-pack, I think. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16-pack. Um, so this is the Craft Smart. I think it's just like a nice, you know, basic... Um, brand but it just came with all of these colors i don't want to pull them all out but i'll show you the box came with all of these really good colors um and i'm just really excited to kind of paint more um again you know if it doesn't work out it's something i can donate i didn't i honestly didn't spend anything really on all of this stuff so if it doesn't work out i'll either take it to my school and donate it to my school or i will donate it to um you know someone that wouldn't ever be able to go out and just pick up a hobby like this if they wanted to so anyways that is everything that i got from michael's and then the exciting thing that just came in you guys hang on i'm packing up my my paint box and i like that you can carry it like i like that it's got a handle anyways the really exciting thing is right here let me just cover up my like a little unboxing this giant because this is kind of a giant thing um i do want to cover my name though my address so as you can tell i got it from amazon my camera's about to die so i hope it does not die in the middle of this but now saying that it probably will it's been blinking at me for a minute So here is the package and let's go ahead and open this up where are my scissors here they are. So if you guys have been following my videos, you guys would know I am interested in a ring bound planner and things like that. I did I haven't bought one yet, um, but this could be very good for all planning things, my traveler's notebook, my Erin Condren. Um, just even like good life skill stuff, not life skills, but life things. It's a box inside a box, inside a box. I'm gonna move this. There's no need for it to be up there. 
So this is the most important thing. This is a laminator, you guys. So there's just, this is just the Amazon Basics. I was reading reviews about it and people were saying it's really nice. Um, I have also saw people say that you could foil with this. So this will also be, um, and it was really cheap. So I didn't want to buy something expensive. Just, you know, something basic. So where's that? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it looks like it gave me some sheets. That's nice. The other thing in this box is the laminating sheets. But yeah, this is just the Amazon Basics. I will, if you guys want, um, in a video, I can just like test this out and then in a video I'll let you guys know how it gets along. But just a really nice basic laminator. Small, clean. This is what it looks like. You know, it's in my frame, so. And we were pretty zoomed in, so. You guys can see it's really not that big. Um, that I don't know what, what would help. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really cute, it won't take up too much room. And then the only other thing is, in this box, is I got the laminating sheets in here. It seems like they're loose in here, but. You know, just to have some on hand. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm excited about this. Anyways, you guys, that is it for my crafting haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't planner related, but it was still, um, you know, very crafty. So, um, yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day, week, and month. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.